Hi guys, it's Rune, the math person. Before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you don't want to be bombarded with all these new videos, make sure you turn off that notification. Other than that, let's just dive right into this question. In this video, I'll be going over question 105 on SO exam P. So pause the video real quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, as soon as we attempted it, let's just dive right in. So this problem isn't actually hard if you actually know the covariance of x and y. It's just pretty math intensive. The covariance of x and y is equal to the expected value of x and y minus the expected value of x times the expected value of y. Okay, so then let's just set up, the, let's just find expected value of x y first. So this is actually just equal to x and y, right? Times our probability function, that's 8 thirds. So x squared, y squared. And if I'm solving in terms of dy first, what is the range for dy? When well, dy goes from x to 2x, right? x to 2x. And if it's going from x to 2x, this is x let's, x, let's say, and this is 2x, let's say. The y value here, or I mean the x value integrating from dy first is going from 0 to 1. So this is just going from 0 to 1. So then the x value here would just be from 0 to 1. So this is just dx. Solving this in terms of y, you get y cubed, x squared just stays a constant, 8 cubed, or 9, integrating y from x to 2x. So then, so pulling out the constant, 8, 9, x squared. When I plug in the upper limit, you're going to get 8x cubed. Plug in the lower limit, you just get x cubed. So then this is equal to, integ still integrating in terms of dx first, 8, 8 nines, x squared, times 7x cubed dx. So then this is equal to 56 over 9 x fifth, right? Because when you add the exponents when it's multiplied, dx. Integrating this in terms of dx, you get x6, 56 over 54, integrating from 0 to 1. The lower limit just gives you 0, so you're just going to get 56 over 54. Moving on to the expected value of x, let's say. The expected value of x is just multiplying same range here, 0 to 1, x to 2x. But then instead of just, instead of x, y like we did before, we're just going to add an extra x in there. So that's going to be x squared, y, dy, dx. So integrating in terms of our dy first, 8 third x squared is just a constant. So you get y squared, x squared, 8 over 6, integrating y from x to 2x. So then you get 4 thirds x squared. Putting in the upper limit, you get 4x minus the lower limit, you get 4x squared, and lower limit, you just get x squared. So this is equal to, still integrating the dx, 4 thirds x cubed. This is just 3x squared dx. Simplifying it down a little bit, you get 0 to 1. The 3's here cancel out, so you're left with 4x4 4 dx. Integrating that sucker out, you get x5 4 over 5, integrating from 0 to 1. So you get this is equal to 4 5th, because the lower limit just gives you 0. Finally, the accepted value of y. Likewise, the range is st still the same. You're still integrating from the same values, x to 2x, but instead of an extra x or an extra xy like before, you have an extra y this time, dy dx. Integrating in respect to y first, you get y cubed, 8 9 x, integrating the y from x to 2x, 0 to 1. This is equal to 8 9 x. Putting in an upper limit here, it's going to be 8 x cubed minus lower limit, x cubed. Integrating, still integrating in respect to x dx. So this is equal to 8 nines x, 7 x cubed. Integrating zero, from 0 to 1, this is equal to 0 to 1. 56 over 9 x fourth dx. Finally, you get x fifth, 56 over 45, integrating from 0 to 1, you get 56 over 45. Alright, so we have all the ingredients we need. So putting it, plugging it back into our formula here, expected value of x and y is 56 over 64 
minus x with the value of x is 4 fifth. The x with the value of y is 4, 56, 45, 56, 45. Plugging that into the calculator, you get 0.24888, which is approximately equal to 0.25, our answer B. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!